greetings and salutations. Welcome to episode 14 of our lead save. Right, let's get straight into it. We've got lots to catch up on. <clears throat> Obviously, at the beginning of the season, I wanted to sort of play a few games, get a bit ahead. So we'll go through a re review of those. Um, so, where the fudge were we? Um, I think we played four league games. Two, three, four. Okay. So, can't remember if this was in the last episode. I think it was. We lost 2-1. Extra time, Brian. It was in the last episode. I'm having a brain fart. Since then, just a little bit indifferent. We started off the season so well. Um, as you know, we got Dallas, who was on form, a right wing. He got injured for a length of time. Um, and then Cummings got injured. Sorry, just closing the window and, and causing a mess. Um, Cummings got injured for five, six weeks, which was a pain in the bum. Um, but we battled on, have made an e another signing. It's actually just a loan signing, but I'll go through those afterwards. Um, so first up, we had a two-all draw away to Blackburn. Cammy Smith, who sort of was filling in as striker, and Sol Bamba getting the goals, the centre-back, from a set-piece. Then we went on to lose 2-1 at home to Aston Villa. Obviously, very tricky game. Um, as you can see, we have Ravel Morrison, the ex-West Ham youngster, um, on loan with us for the rest of the season. <clears throat> he can play both wings and uh, attack in midfield. Carlos Hill scored their two goals. Then we beat Wigan 2-0. Good result. Rolando Aarons and Ishmael Miller getting his first goal. Um, obviously, we were trying to sort of fill the hole that uh, Cummings had left, uh, but it was nice for him to get a goal. Um, then we had a great 4-0 away victory to Brentford. Charlie Taylor from left back getting a goal. Casper Sloth, our attacking midfielder. Ravel Morrison and Rolando Aarons getting the goals. Then we had two 1-0 losses to Rotherham um, and Ipswich, which was a bit of a bummer. <coughs> then we had a 2-1 away win on TV to um, against Sheffield United. Ishmael Miller getting both goals there. That was his best performance of the season. Um, a home draw against Preston, Charlie Taylor and Enes Jelinek, Jelinek, how do you pronounce that? Yeah, him scored for them. And then a home one, uh, <coughs> a home one, a home draw against Reading. Casper uh, Sloth getting the goal for us and Simon Cox getting the goal for them, who we sold to them this season. So, of course, he comes back and scores. Uh, they did get man sent off, but we didn't capitalise. Um, unfortunately, Stuart Dallas just came back and then got injured again, which was a real bummer. Um, he's out for eight weeks with a broken collarbone this time. Absolute annoying. And then we lost 2-1 in our last game away to MK Dons. But you will see that Jason Cummings is back and is scoring. So so hopefully that will turn around our sort of fortunes at the moment. So I just wanted to jump ahead a few games really. Obviously beginning of the season. Um, we'll we'll do, a, do a game today. We'll just do one game because we've still got a few bits to go through before we get onto the game. And then um, I'll probably take a break and we'll come back for the Hull and the FA Cup third round game. And then we'll start doing them a bit more frequently as we get into the exciting end of the season. Um, so as I said, uh, we got Ravel Morrison on loan. Um, really chuffed with that. We're having to pay a bit of money, but um, it was definitely needed with our injuries that were coming to our wingers. Um, and he's done fine since he's come in. Um, we've all been, as a team, been struggling a little bit. As I said, Jason Cummings is back 7-7. Seven in seven. Um, Ishmael Miller managed to get three goals in his little stint as a striker. Um, six starts and four sub appearances. It'll do as a backup, but uh, we definitely don't need another injury to Cummings. Um, Aaron's has just been injured. I think he's out for four weeks with a back strain, which is a bit of a bummer. Moat's out, and as I said, Dallas is out for eight weeks with a broken collarbone. Murphy got injured in that last game, but he's out only for a week. So, not too bad. We're doing all right. Um, if we look in the competitions, we have slipped down. We were obviously top when I last left you, but we're still in the runnings. We're fifth. Um, very close points with a sort of group of about 12 teams here. Um, but we're doing all right. And so today's game will be versus Nottingham Forest, who are sixth. So this is quite an important game away. So it's going to be a tricky one. Um, just finished my football manager review video, which I've just put up, which is, I thought I probably really should do one. I looked on Steam for the video and <coughs> I played this game, Football Manager 2016, including beat up for 245 hours. <laughs> That's ridiculous and slightly depressing. 
I'll just I'll leave on in the background. That's what I'll I'll, I'll tell myself. Uh, loan offer for Collins. Yes, you may go. Question. Alto Karanka has been speaking about your comments after your last encounter between your two sides. Do you think you've got under your skin a bit? I can't remember what I said. Yeah, there you go. I can't even remember what I said. <laughs> That's the honest answer. No idea. Right, here we go. So, not in the forest of third, not six. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong bit before. As for the new signings um, that we bought in the summer, uh, so Timon Wellenreuther, our German under... He's not, I don't think he's under 21, I think that's optimistic. Uh, <laughs> German youngster um, has been doing a fine job in goal. He's been doing okay, nothing particularly special. Um, Sam Byram, obviously he's uh, he's been here all the time, but he's got seven assists in 11 games from our sort of uh, wing-back position that we're playing in. Um, as for the other new signings, um, Christian Balik is doing fantastic. Just got his first assist. Um, still not sure where I want to play him, but maybe he that's his position. He's um, that I play him as a you know able to play all those positions. He's played in the ball-winning midfielder role um, six games this season. Um, just because Carl Bartley and Sol Bamba have been absolutely solid at centre back, so he hasn't had a chance there. And then we've got Deot Ubamgano, um, our French youngster, who's our, who's the main backup. So they've been pretty much playing every game, as you can see, 16 and 14 appearances. Um, Scott Allen is rotating with Casper Sloth as the um, attacking midfielder. Um, Sloth on form at the moment, so that's why he's in there. Jason Cummings is back from injury. So that's fantastic. Uh, we're just light on wingers. Uh, we've got sort of two, three of our wingers out at the moment. Um, so we're playing both Maitland Niles as a central midfielder. Um, that was just to give him a bit of game time. Actually, I'll probably take that, take him off that just so we have somebody on the bench. Um, and Billick's gonna play centre midfield. So let's get into it. Let's do this. Collins is off on loan. Yes, yes. Goodbye. Don't care about you. Yeah, so go check out the review. I thought I'd do a review video um, for FM16. Um, probably not really for you guys that watch my channel all the time because you probably have it um, or, or have already made up your mind if you want it. But I thought it was just for sort of new people. It would be quite interesting. And I've got so much experience playing it. I might as well talk about it. So that's up. And I shall be doing the new um, videos. I've got tons of stuff in the works. Um, at the moment lots of interesting stuff some football manager related some other stuff because it is going to be a, all sorts of gaming channels um, you know all sorts of games played on here not just football manager I will, I will always keep the football manager content going because it's probably my favourite game ever go on oh that was a pen um, so I'll keep all the, all the football manager content going um, with my series uh, but I want to do some fun other stuff as well. I was looking at some options on Steam that I might do. But I'll keep you guys posted. I hope you will, the people that do follow me in FM, like me enough to check out my other videos. You know, they might be funny. Might be dreadful. But at least you'll know. <coughs> Alright, come on, let's go and win this game, shall we please? The so Forest uh, second with this draw so far. Goal defence 8, we're also goal defence 12. Yeah, we've been scoring quite well. Especially when Cummings was fit. Obviously, seven and seven for the man up front. Bamba. Okay, Rene Adelaide. Great name. Sloth. Dinks over the top. Ravel. He's missed a few of these already. He doesn't seem the best finisher. He seems to panic a bit. But he's getting in those positions, as they say. Corner ball comes in, back post, headed away. Yep, clear. Belich pops it back in. Cummings on the turn, edge of the area. Blocked. But Belich. Belich? Belich? I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm crap with names. Belich. We'll call him Belich. <laughs> if I remember. Yeah, so it looks like you guys have really been enjoying the uh, our sub wars. That was, it was good fun, and we'll definitely 
do some more of that sort of stuff with you guys. Obviously, it's going to be harder as the channel grows. I was sort of thinking, how do you scale that up? Because imagine trying to do a sub wars with, you know, 500 subscribers one day, maybe, hopefully. Ooh, pressure. Good Byron. Ravel. Lovely three ball. Cummings on it. Ah, oh, look calm as you like, Cummings. He just doesn't mess about. Doesn't mess about. You you that you would have put money on him scoring that. Just slotting it home. Lovely jubbly. Byron picks it up. Through ball to Ravel, and then there's a lovely through ball. The Jack Hobbs there. Couldn't turn quick enough. Bottom corner from Cummings. Lovely. Somebody just came up on my Steam. Did you see that in the bottom right? And you know your Steam friend is playing blah blah. They're playing Football Manager 2014. That's crazy. Uh, Sloth. Come on, Sloth. He's playing well at the moment. Cummings plays it out to Ravel. Cross it, Ravel. Don't be selfish. He's been selfish. Don't know what that was. A cross or a shot. It was a crot. We'll call it a crot. Can't wait for my new bloody headset to arrive. Uh, my new microphone, I mean. This headset is ridiculous. I'll probably sell it on eBay. It's probably worth something. It's so old. Well, I think we did really well, boys. That's why I have it so quiet. I know it's a bit annoying to have my volume so low, but if I have it any higher, all you can hear is hissing. <laughs> I thought about putting some music on to cover it up, and I was like, no, I, people will understand. It's temporary, it's getting fixed. Come on, boys, let's get another, let's get a second. Byron with the throw to the edge of the box. Ravel picks it up. Oh, it's a good ball in. Are we going to win this? Win this cookie. Uh, oh, mistake. Sloth picks it up. Cook plays it to Rene Adelaide, who misses it. And it's a long ball over the top. And it's a Sombalonga, a Sombalonga, a Sombalonga. He just likes saying his name. He misses. Corner to Forest. Yes, Velen Rutha. Nice. Came and collected it. Like to see that coming out. Taking charge of his nice pink boots and grey tracksuit bottoms. Looking lovely. Oh, Cummings is a legend. Look at it. Calm as you like. Calm as you like. Oh, he's... <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe not, Cummings. I know you're good, buddy, but... He looked at his team went and they went... And he went, nah, I'm not passing to them. They'll just fuck it up. I'll have a shot. Let's make some subby sub subs. Um, we'll give Adelaide. He's not played that well and he's a bit knackered. And we'll swap them over. And then we'll give Dayot some time. Dayot! Dayot! Right. Another goal, please, Mr. Leeds. People, look, we're on top here. 14 shots to four. We're crushing them. They're hanging on. And they're going to score, aren't they? <coughs> here it comes. Here it comes. Penalty. We're going to give away a penalty. No, they're just going to score. Oh, it's a great save, Wellen Rutha. I'm actually remembering his name now, which is a good sign. It means I like you if, you've, if I've remembered your name. Come on, go get it, go get it. No, uh, no, 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 no. Ben Osborne, you twat. Gordon plays it across. He's got all the time in the world to turn, choose where he wants to hit it. Slots it through about three defenders. Bum. Let's 
still got time boys still got time sloth is looking knackered just freshen it up at the front end come on Scotty Allen oh didn't mean to do that meant to do that let's uh, push forward let's go for push forward last couple of minutes go 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 let's nick it we deserve this win look too many off target nine shots off target our passing is only 69%, but 69% is not good. Looks like an, oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Blow up, ref, 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 ref. Thank you. Okay, well, it's not a bad result. The third in the league is away, I suppose. I just think because we, we were on top, I thought we might be able to uh, nick it, but uh, obviously not. Obviously, a not. So, let's have a quick check of our finances. So, we've got 641,000 in the bank. Um, so, we're doing okay money wise. So I've still got 400k, so there could, and some transfer budget. I've got 70 grand in wages as well. So, in January, I definitely could look to strengthen, uh, depending on how, sort of how well we're doing. But, the, you know, the board love me. Look at that. I've just got a new contract, two year contract. Um, Oh, they're loving Ravel Morrison, even though he's not done. Yeah, Chris Wood obviously scored against us that we sold to Bournemouth. Oh, no, no, it's Bournemouth. There's a different Wood then. He's played one game. That's worth it. He's not a Premiership player, is he? Look, but I thought Bournemouth were relegated because they bought him. He's not a Premiership player. Look at that. It's not like he's that young, 24 years old. He must be having a field day in the Premiership. Right, that about sums up the episode, I think. we four games without a win. Brilliant. Three one ones. Um I'm gonna play a cup we'll play I'll play some more games um offline and then we'll come back for a league game and the FA Cup. Like I said, as we get nearer the sort of crucial point of the season, I'll slow down and take have less games in between episodes. Um but early season we'll just you know, bash them out, so to speak. Pardon the French. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. I'll see you next episode, which will be like 15. Time flies, doesn't it? I love you all. Bye-bye.